Before the start of this video, I would just like to say a huge thank you to all my supporters across all platforms. Without your support, videos like the one you're about to watch would never happen. So huge thanks to each and every one of you. Have you ever wanted to be more organized in order to get more things done? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I prepare, organize and publish regularly to my social media account for no cost at all. My name's Inwills and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello and welcome to this first of what I hope to be several videos all about getting organized and in this video I'm going to be talking about a piece of software called Trello and how I use it to keep organized and to become more productive with my content across social media. So many, many, many years ago, I read David Allen's book called Getting Things Done. And from that moment, I have been fairly addictive, addicted to trying to improve my productivity, either in my full time job or in my content creation role, my hobby, if you like. Now, I actually keep two separate systems to keep organized despite all the high-flying productivity gurus telling me to keep them together and I think this really links to one of the most important things about productivity you really need to find a system that works for you and what I have ended up doing is looking at a range of other people's systems and how they you, you, how their workflow is applied to the use of various programs. And then I've tried a system and then I've adapted it. And if things didn't work, I might have moved on to another piece of software or I might have moved on to another system, or I might have tweaked. And I, it will take you a while to find a system that works for you, just as it's taken me a, quite a, a long time to find a system that works well for me. But when you get there, it really does work. And always look at things that you might change in order to improve anything to develop and when we get on to how I use my Trello board you'll see some of these changes and developments these tweaks in action the second aspect that I would like to share before I actually get into the nitty-gritty of the video so please bear with is that I decided that I wanted to create a productivity system that would cost me nothing at all now, so I wanted to use free accounts or free entry um, levels to those accounts and wherever was possible. And although, yes, I do pay out for certain programs and software, if I have to have paid, it's only when I've really tried everything else out and, you know, there's no other option. I wanted to use free accounts um, for two reasons. The first one was mainly because I was getting really tired of finding a really good piece of software and then finding that all the good aspects of that software you had to pay for. And so what I've looked for are ways that I might work around that so I don't actually have to pay for them. The other thing that I was finding that I would invest money and time into using a certain piece of software and then after a year or so it would come to it needed to be upgraded and then it basically had me you know captured by it I had to pay for the upgrade because I needed to maintain the system that I was using so I devised a whole load of workarounds I've actually got rid 
of a huge program that I was using and really gone back to basics to try to build it up from free accounts. So yeah, they might not be totally as efficient as a paid account, but you can use any of the um, workflows or ideas that I have in these videos because they're free. Now, before I show you my Trello board and start to talk about it, you know, feel free just to nip forward. I'd just like to say that this was not totally my own idea. OK, I actually watched several videos on YouTube about getting organized for social media content. And I was lucky to find uh, a wonderful YouTuber who was using Trello solely to publish her content creation um, her content for her social media. Now, I've searched and searched and I still can't find who this original person was, but I would like to say thank you very much to whoever it is. And if you do find out who it is, or if you're that person, then please do put something in the comments below. And so I'm going to credit all this workflow to them. Thank you very much. So, Trello is a free piece of software that allows you to create and Kanban boards. And Kanban boards look something like this when you have a series of columns and cards within each of those columns. Now, these cards can contain a wealth of information that you will see from my workflow and they can be moved in between these columns, you just left click and drag them. You can see that there's a lot of other um, automation and possibilities and integration, but once you get there, then you start paying for it. But I've created a system that uses the free version and yeah, let's nip straight across to my board so you can see how they are being used. And if you want to use any of it yourself, then please do so. So this is my Trello board. And before we go any further, I'd just like to say that this is work in progress. I've changed things several times since I started to use it. Although the basic system has remained the same, I'm constantly trying little tweaks to see whether or not things can be done differently in order to be more productive and whether or not they help my workflow. So I'll point those out to you as we go along, but I'm just going to talk you through the board, but also what I use things for and the workflow that I actually do in order to maintain some productions. So first of all, we have these columns. And the first thing that I will say is that there's a column here that just says workflow. And this was something to remind me about the process. Eventually, I'll probably get rid of it. But as I was developing the board, I wanted to remind myself what I was trying to achieve, how I would do this and how I would progress with it. So that's all, <coughs> excuse me, all this is. OK, then, so the four main columns here, we have what I consider to be the four areas of my content creation. There, so there was aspects of streaming. Vaguely creative is anything to do with um, anything from fiction writing to making special effects or cloud photos or anything like that. You can see here that I've actually added what each column is about. So the streaming one, clips, schedule, setup, thoughts. Here's the personal one to do with blogging, personal vids, running, productivity, hence this video, and organization. And then this is my role playing column, things about Mithras, M Space, my Gibbering GM series, but also using World Anvil for world and adventure creation. OK, now the next thing that you'll notice is that after the workflow, there are some more columns and I'm just going to slide along so you can see them all. So this column is when I've actually scheduled things. 
okay and it's later is what I use to schedule on and I'm going to do a video about that later on but you can see here all these are actually scheduled ready to go once it's been scheduled here then if I think it's something that my Patreon supporters or my Kofi supporters would like then it will move across so this here is one of my um, the in wills interval podcast all about to-do lists over summer and if that had been scheduled then i might drag it into this column saying in wills it's ready to go when you need it and then i would just drag it up say that it's ready to post and then shows it's posted shows it's been scheduled and that's happened then i move it across to the next column the next um column on the board which is done and they just sit in here if they're done this key i created at one point um to tell me what sort of content it was but i'm finding that i don't need it as much at all and i find that it's probably going to disappear one thing that i have started to use is putting colors in to say which month i might be publishing them in so i know that this black one here is september so let me just move over to the four main columns again and give you an idea what goes in each um, section of the column so i've separated it up uh, to as ready to go in progress and ideas okay so whenever i have an idea for each of these four areas then i just create a card and pop it into the ideas section and then that's it so you can see all these are things that anything that i think about i immediately capture capture it onto this trello board remember trello has an app and it's online i'm running the app on my desktop here but you can run it on a phone or an ipad or anything like that so that's the first thing ideas come straight in once i've started work on something then it moves up to the in progress so this video here which is about the different skill roles in my in mithras i've started to write the script about it or i've started to add some ideas about it here but i might not have completed it okay now this is actually wrong and i'm so pleased that i found it it should have we don't want that there and it should just have these three items in here like it's just um reverted to so that's good i'm pleased that i found that in time here you can see this one is using trello this is what i'm using per all the video i'm producing now so that's why it's in progress and then finally or oh, this one down here streaming as a um, streaming as a small streamer suggestion i've started to add ideas to see whether or not i've got enough ideas to actually make a series of videos about this so that's why that is in progress once everything's done then it's moved up to the ready to go phase and this basically tells me that if i'm looking for content these one of these four columns has something ready to go so this one here um this one is all ready to go and it's actually in the scheduled or it should be there but i've dragged it back so you can see it so you can see this this is about five top tips about using skills in um mithras the rule set that i use so you can see here that when i open it up the black means that it's due to go out in september i find this very useful if i know i want to hit a particular date or an event that something's coming up i like this idea of these labels and i've started um one for september you can see this one here is for october as well so this is uh, an idea that i'm trying out in this part here in the description i write down everything that will need to be cut and pasted into an instagram post into a youtube a youtube description or anything like that everything is put in here this one still needs its hashtags in but some of them will 
um, already have hashtags um, in. So if I look at this one, I'm trying to find one that actually has their hashtags in ready to go. Um, here we go. This one is one about my cloud pictures. You can see that all the um, hashtags are there ready to go. So I don't need to worry about it. So I could just cut and paste this straight into my content creation. So these sit in ready to go. And then once it's all done and ready to go, then I actually drag it over into my scheduling. OK, and the scheduling section has a ready to go. And I was experimenting with these. Um, I think I'll probably get rid of them and just use the label. And it will sit in this um, ready to go area until I'm ready to schedule it. And then it'll be scheduled. And um, you can see the date will appear here. I can then watch this, which means I'll get a reminder. So you can actually produce all your content creation directly from Trello. You can just get it to watch it'll give you a reminder and then you can literally cut and paste straight into Instagram or Twitter or whatever you want to do. I actually use another program for that, which I'll make a video about later on. And then once it's up here, then once it's scheduled, then I move it up again and then that's it. it it's all ready to go. So I've been on vacation on holiday from work and I've been trying to get everything um, loaded up and make content like this as soon as possible and that's it and then once it's actually been posted so this has been scheduled once it's be actually been posted then it will be moved across to the done section now everything I'm using here um, is free you don't have to pay for any of this at all I've made sure it's created absolutely free of charge and you're allowed one power up with your board and this is the power up that I have on this board which is called the calendar and what this means is that when I press the calendar tab here it will show all my posts that are scheduled ready to go okay and the really good thing about this say for example this um world anvil post that's due to go out tomorrow if i dragged it to this date it would change the date in the board in the card okay so this card here you can see it's tomorrow at six o'clock in the evening that's why i normally post it would actually change it to this one to the 18th at six o'clock you can actually add cards directly to this view. So if I wanted to post something on Wednesday, I could double click here and add a card, put in what I want. And then it even down here asks me um, which column I would like it to put it into. So you can actually collate ideas straight from here. But this is free. Um, I didn't pay anything from it and I haven't paid anything for this board either. I think you can see up here in Wills's workspace is free. So I hope that gives you an idea about how I use my Trello board to create and schedule content. So I hope you found that interesting and useful. And if you have them, please consider liking commenting and subscribing to the channel i really appreciate the support and that you all provide and it takes me one step closer to my dream of make being a full-time content creator i've got more videos planned about being organized and the software that i use so do come back and have a look and yeah if there's any aspects that you would like me to talk about more then just stick them in the comment below maybe you want to see how i get pictures or colored headings in my cards anything like that just let me know okay and i hope this moves you or started to move you towards being more productive and organized how you want to be okay until next time please stay safe stay healthy but most importantly Stay positive. Catch you all later. See ya. Bye.